Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is the first Monday of the month today, which means that I am choosing one item for my wardrobe and showing you some different ways that that item can be styled. I have done two previous videos in this series. I've styled up a green dress and also a blazer. I'm putting the videos from this series into a playlist called Slow Fashion, which I will link up here. It does also contain other types of videos as well. But if you specifically want to see the two videos from this series, I'll have those linked in the description box down below. Today, the item that I'm going to be styling up for you is this dress here. This is a navy blue midi length dress from Whistle. It is in like a satin material. It's very loose and floaty, has the little spaghetti straps and then it also has some buttons up the back as well. I haven't had this dress for a long time. Jonathan actually bought this for me in December I think it was. So I've only had it for a few months but I've really enjoyed wearing it through summer and I'm excited to see the different ways that I can style it up for the colder months as well. So to start us off I'm going to show you what the dress looks like on its own without any styling just so you can get an idea of how it looks, how it kind of sits on the body. Because of the little straps I can't wear a regular bra with this. I either have to wear a strapless bra or no bra at all. But once I start showing you some of the styling options, because of what I'm gonna be putting with the dress, I will be able to wear any old bra. So the first way I wanna style this dress up is actually how I've been wearing it since I've had it, because it has been summer, it's been very hot, so I haven't had to put a whole lot with it. So what I've basically been doing is just adding a bag and adding some shoes. A bit of jewelry, of course. I think the neckline on this dress is a lovely one for showing off a necklace. Speaking of jewelry, if you notice that I'm not wearing my wedding ring in this video, it's because my fingers have just swollen up so badly today. I have dermatitis because I'm allergic to my cat and sometimes it flares up more than others and today it's flared up really badly. My fingers are so swollen and my wedding ring was cutting into my finger. So I've just had to take it off, so everything's all good with me and Jonathan, but if you notice that I'm not wearing my ring, that is why. But back to the video, the bag that I'm going to style the dress with today is this brown one here, which is from Forever New. I think that brown and navy blue look really nice together. I'm actually going to show you two different shoe options. So one of them is this pair of brown heels, which are the same color as the bag, so I thought that would be really nice to keep all of the accessories matching. I love brown accessories for summer. I think they're very easy to wear. They're so neutral but they also feel a lot more summery than a black accessory so quite often in summer I do reach for brown. The other shoe option I'm going to show you is these yellow sandal heels and actually I wore this exact outfit to a wedding this summer. This dress, these shoes and this bag is exactly what I was wearing. I really like how these shoes brighten the whole outfit up because it is quite a dark dress and especially if you're going to wear it to something like a wedding and you don't want it to look like you're wearing black and you're at a funeral. These bright shoes with a perfect way to brighten it up a bit and put a little bit of fun into the outfit. Alright, so as much as I love the dress on its own and that is how I've worn it so far, I'm really excited to try some of these next outfits because I haven't actually put them together yet. I'm envisaging them looking really nice and I'm excited to try them. So the next one we're going to try is actually popping on this white roll neck underneath the dress, which will still allow you to see the whole dress, but means I'll be able to keep a little bit warmer while still wearing a very summery dress. And I thought with this outfit I'd pop on my black boots. I may also belt the dress. I'm not sure just yet. I'll have to try it on and see what it looks like each way. But I think this is going to be a great way to keep getting wear out of the dress when the temperatures are starting to drop. For outfit number three, we're going to be using a shirt again, but this time, instead of putting it underneath the dress, we're going to put it over the top of the dress and make the dress look more like a skirt. So this would work with any t-shirt, really. It would work great with a plain white t-shirt, but I'm going to pop it on with a slogan tee. I think the grey will be really nice with the navy blue as well. So I'm going to put the shirt over top of the dress and I'll tie it in a little knot at the front. So it kind of brings it up to my waistline. It makes it look like a high-waisted skirt with a little crop top. And with that, I'm going to pair my off-white trainers for a more casual look. For outfit number four, I'm going to put a blazer over top of the dress and I'm actually going to belt the blazer. So you won't be able to see a lot of the top half of the dress, but you'll still see the beautiful skirt part. And I'm going to pair that with some tan ankle boots, which I think will complement the colors in the blazer quite nicely. The only thing I'm not sure about yet, but you'll be seeing it right now, is what color belt I'm going to choose. I think a brown belt would be the best color match for this outfit, but my black belt is wider and I think the width 
would be better than a thinner belt. Actually, when I went to try this outfit on, I realized that I really like it with the blazer just buttoned up and without a belt at all. So sometimes you just gotta try different things because it's not always exactly how you envisage it. For outfit number five, we're going very casual this time. So I'm actually going to pop on this gray hoodie over top of the dress. I'll probably pop a belt on underneath. You won't see the belt, but it'll just be something to tuck the hoodie into, which means that it won't swamp me quite as much. It'll kind of bring my waistline back and give it just a little bit more shape. And then I'm just gonna wear that with my off-white trainers again, because those are the perfect thing to pair with any casual outfit. I think this is gonna be a really cute and cozy outfit. And for the final outfit, I thought we'd go very warm, very winter appropriate. So we're actually gonna do a jumper and a coat. The jumper is gonna be this oatmeal kind of colored one with the high roll neck. And again, I'll put a belt on with this so I can tuck the jumper in and give it a bit more shape. And then over that, I'm gonna throw on my tan long wool coat. I think it's gonna look really great. I've worn this coat with longer dresses in the past and I really like how the lengths work together. I love it when you can just see a little bit of the dress poking out below the end of the coat. And I'm gonna pair that with some brown sock boots just to stay in that really neutral color family. And like I said earlier in the video, I think brown also looks really nice with the navy blue. You could also throw on some tights with a lot of these outfits, and to be honest, I probably will when it's winter because I run very cold. I haven't shown you the outfits with the tights today because it's actually a very warm and sunny day and I don't want to overheat. But those are the six outfits that I wanted to show you today using that one dress. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's given you a bit of inspiration to go through your wardrobe and find new ways to wear the same items. Don't forget to subscribe if you do like the content that I make. I upload at least one new video every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!